Every trader, no matter who you are, what you trade, or how skilled you may be, will at some point hit a losing streak. And by losing streak, I'm simply referring to the fact that at some point, you will enter a period of time where you just lose trade after trade after trade, either all in a row, or at least collectively speaking, you will lose a majority of your trades, way more than usual. Now, this has nothing to do with the fact that your skill set or your strategy is just suddenly failing. It is simply a result of a statistical anomaly that is pretty much guaranteed to occur at some point if you're in this game for long enough. And in this video, I'm going to prove it. Now, of course, before we dive in, in case you are brand new here, my name is Scott Reese and welcome to my channel where I'm here to help you learn how to trade, invest and master your finances so you can apply that knowledge in the real world and multiply your money. And in case you want to see more options trading or investing content after watching this video, you can also find me on Skillshare as well, where you can take my very in-depth classes on options trading and stock market investing. And I provided some links to some of the introductory courses of mine in the description of this video below. So be sure to check them out. And when you sign up for Skillshare using any of those links, you'll get a full one month free trial. Okay, so now what you're about to see here is a very basic computer program that I've written, which is going to simulate making a various number of trades with a specific probability of profit, right? So especially in the case of options trading, and I'll show you a few examples of this here in a second, you have full control and customizability over your probability or chance of making a profit on any given trade. So if you want a 50-50 shot of making a pretty nice profit, you can set that up with options. Or if you want a larger chance of success and you're also willing to take a smaller profit, then you can make trades with a 60% chance of profit or a 70% chance, 80, 90. You have that control with options. And the reason why it's actually possible to quantify your chance of success on any given trade is because the stock market or specifically stock price fluctuations are very close to being perfectly random. And I've got a video on that topic, which proves that fact. I'll post a card above linking to it so you can watch it later. But it's this characteristic of the stock market that does allow you to quantify your probability of profit. And what you'll find, however, is even with a trading strategy with a very high probability of profit, 70% chance, 80% chance, etc. At some point, you will hit a streak of many, many losers in a row. It is statistically guaranteed to happen. And so with that said, now that I've laid the context at this point, we're going to jump on over to my computer and we'll get into the details. Okay, so first off here, as I said earlier, I do want to show you a brief example that just illustrates how you can customize your probability of profit and what I mean by all that with options trading, right? I just want to make sure that everyone watching this video is on the same page with their understanding before I show you this trade simulator that I built. So what I have pulled up here is a simple price action chart of Apple stock, and we'll go into the trade tab real quick, and we'll go into the September expiration cycle. So these are all the options you can trade on Apple for this expiration. And let's say I am bearish on Apple for some reason. Now there are many ways you can use options to create a bearish strategy, but for me as an option seller, what I might do is come in here and sell an out of the money call option. Perhaps this one here with the 155 strike. And so the idea here, what I want to happen is by the expiration date in 26 days, I want Apple stock to be below my strike price of 155. And with the price of Apple now being 148.19, so far I'm in good shape. And this also means over the course of the next 26 days, Apple stock can move sideways. It can go down in price. That would be the ideal scenario. Or it could actually increase in price by a few dollars, almost $7 to be exact, and I could still walk away from this trade with a full profit. So hopefully just intuitively, this sounds like a very high chance of profit trade. And that's because it is. In fact, if you come over here, this percentage 22.45%, this is as of right now, at least the chance of Apple stock rising above the strike price here above 155 by the expiration date. So ultimately, if there's only a 22% chance of that happening, then taking the inverse, that means there's about a 78% chance of that not happening. A 78% chance that Apple stock will be below 155 by September 17th. That's what I want. So I have an almost 80% chance of making a full profit on this position. That's really, really high. So again, just wanted to show you a brief example here of how you can take advantage of the fact that the stock market is mostly a random system and therefore, it is possible to very accurately quantify your chance of making a profit on any given trade. And of course, if I wanted an even higher chance of profit on this position, I could just sell a call option with a strike even further away. Of course, the downside with that is I won't be able to sell these options for very much money at all, just a few dollars basically. 
there's always a give and take with this kind of thing, which means if I wanted the potential to make a much larger profit, then I could sell a call option with a much lower strike. And in doing so, I would also have a lower chance of profit. So now if we come over here, this is the very basic Go application that I wrote, which will simulate making a certain number of trades with a specified probability of profit, or POP for short. And as it's simulating those trades, what it's going to do is keep track of all the losing streaks. So sometimes I might hit a losing streak of only losing two trades in a row, and then the third trade is a winning trade. Not bad. But sometimes, in more rare cases, and they will happen, I might hit a losing streak of losing 7, 8, or 10 trades in a row, even with a very high chance of making a profit on every single trade. So now at this point, we can come down here and open up the terminal. This is where I can run the application and where you're going to see the output. And up here, these are the parameters I'm going to pass into the program. So we're going to simulate making 1,000 trades. So perhaps if you're a very active trader, you can definitely make 1,000 trades in a year. And then over here, this is where I can specify the pop or probability of profit for all the trades that it's going to simulate. So here, when I have it set to 0.5, that means every trade it's going to simulate is going to have a 50% chance of turning a profit, 50-50. So now I'm going to press enter and run the program. And there we go. Here you can see all the output from those simulations. So specifically starting at the top here, of those 1,000 trades it just simulated, there were 112 occurrences where we lost one trade in a row. So basically we lost money on a trade and then the next trade was a winning trade. And of course, this kind of thing is going to happen the most, right? Losing one trade here and there is a pretty common occurrence. But now if we go down lower and we see the losing streaks that were much longer, in this case, losing six trades in a row, or losing nine trades in a row, or the worst case, losing 11 trades in a row, this only happened one time, but still at some point during those simulations, during those 1,000 trades, we hit a losing streak of losing 11 trades in a row. And since each trade has a 50-50 shot of turning a profit, this is basically the same thing as flipping a coin. Imagine flipping a quarter and getting 11 heads in a row. That would be pretty crazy, but it certainly will happen at some point. And finally, notice down here the overall win rate of all those 1,000 trades. It was 48.7%, or very, very close to 50%. And this should hopefully make sense. If every trade has a 50-50 shot of making a profit, then in total, over the 1,000 trades, you would expect about half of them to make a profit and the other half to lose money. So even though in the end, even though our total win rate on those 1,000 trades was exactly as expected, right around 50%, that does not mean you can't still along the way hit a massive losing streak. It will happen at some point. So next, let's clear the screen here and reset things. So we're going to do the same thing again, but instead of a 50-50 shot of making money on any given trade, we're going to give each trade a 70% chance of turning a profit. Now this is typically the probability that I personally target as an option seller. Most of the trades that I make have around a 70% probability of profit. So once again, I'm gonna press enter and run the program. And there we go, you can see the results right here. So pretty similar output here, the longer the losing streak, the fewer times that losing streak occurred. And in this case, the longest one that did occur was a losing streak of seven trades in a row. This happened one time. And again, take note of the total win rate over those 1,000 trades was just under 70%, exactly as expected. But once again, at some point along the way, you are statistically very likely to hit a pretty bad losing streak. And as I said earlier, this has nothing to do with the fact that your strategy has just suddenly fallen apart and it will never work again. This is just a statistical anomaly. So when this does happen for you in your own trading, don't get too discouraged by it. Obviously, it's not going to be enjoyable, but it will not last forever. And also, it will not happen very often, but it certainly will happen at some point. Now, lastly here, some of you might be thinking, well, can't I just cheat this losing streak by making trades with a super, super high chance of success? Right, once again, if I clear the screen and we reset. So now, for example, let's go to a 90% chance of profit on every single trade. I'll press enter. And there we go. Over those 1,000 trades, the worst losing streak was only losing two trades in a row. Now, this did happen 10 times, but still, losing two trades in a row doesn't sound like a big deal. And again, the overall win rate was 90%, or very close to it. So sure, based on the simulation, making super high pop trades sounds like the way to go, right? 
No, it's not. The reason being, let's come back over here. Again, taking a look at the September options for Apple. Well, if I instead sold this call option, the 160 strike, and not the 155, this call option here has only a 10% chance of expiring in the money by the expiration date, or a 10% chance that Apple will climb up to and breach 160 bucks per share. So taking the inverse of that, that means selling this call option has about a 90% chance of making a full profit by September 17th. So why should you not sell these kinds of options? It's because you're going to sell these options for almost no money. Right now, you could sell this call option for just over 50 bucks. That's it. And for a stock that's trading for about 150, that's nothing. You're basically picking up pennies in front of a steamroller. Because sure, most of the time, you're going to make a full profit on this kind of trade. You might go six months or a year of just making easy money. But that money is going to be very, very small. And at some point, the steamroller is going to come out and run you over. Perhaps Apple has amazing earnings at some point and the stock just explodes. Well, in cases like that, where you're going to lose thousands and thousands of dollars potentially, then your tiny profits of 50 bucks here, 20 bucks there, 45 bucks over there are not going to compensate for that. In the end, you're going to lose money and a lot of it. So sure, even though with this simulation, the worst losing streak was only losing two trades in a row. Well, what if these two trades were massive, massive losses? They might obliterate your profits for the whole year. And that's the one thing, unfortunately, that this simulation does not show. So ultimately, that's why you need to find a healthy balance of, yes, choosing a trade that has a high chance of profit, but not so high to where your actual profits are insignificant, right? Your profits will need to be big enough to compensate your losses when they do occur. Otherwise, on average, as you keep trading, you're just going to keep losing money. And for me, based on my experience in trading, that balance is somewhere around 60 to 70% chance of profit. And so with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please let me know your thoughts or if you got questions in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you want to take some very in-depth classes on options trading and stock market investing, then check out my Skillshare courses. Links in the description of this video. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I drop new videos every single week and you don't want to miss out. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.